good morning. Well, that's April and I don't want to spend a lot of my grocery budget, but we are making a few purchases here and there. So, and not too long ago, a few days ago, my husband went to mail our tax return and there is a grocery store where you can mail and he just went there instead of going to the post office and he purchased banana and grape on sale there. But he works at a grocery store and so I um, asked him to make few purchases including um, rice, peanuts and a freezer bag because it's April and I have a lot of perennials in my garden and I'm going to be recording a lot of videos related to my garden to just show you that even if you have a busy schedule, you can still grow food. But my way of gardening is totally <laughs> unique to myself because it's not the prettiest garden by any means, but that's what works for me and I like to share that with you if that's all <laughs> you can do. And I want a freezer bag on hand right away because with perennials, there is not much to do for them, but they grow very fast. Once spring is here, they grow very fast. So by end of April, I should be harvesting a lot of um, products and freeze. That's how I freeze my vegetables for winter and will eat from the garden toward uh, the season, like spring, summer and fall and winter I just rely on my freezer for those vegetables. So we have a lot of onion that are going to pretty much get tall. They are growing already. Like when uh, by the end of March I start seeing them coming alive and it just I, I don't I'm not even going out right now because it's kind of chilly but I went out on March 8th to plant peas and I don't even know if they are growing or not but I can see through the window that those onions I have perennial onions Egyptian onion in the garden and they are growing so I'm going to show you that later but what I wanted to talk about is what we purchase so I don't know you can see um, here on that table the freezer bag I usually just buy the one that you close yourself not this one but maybe that's what he found at this point I cannot get picky but I think this one might be pricier I'm not using the receipt here I have $300 budget for our household of seven four adults three kids our family of five and with my parents here as well as that seven people and I'm going to do a lot of freezing. So 300 budget is very tight. But again, in April, I don't want to spend even that much. So, but I need to have enough freezer bag on hand. And now that I'm using visitors from the freezer, I'm washing those bags. And I've been using them, let me turn this off. I've been using them as storage bag. for popcorn and things like that but I think I will the one that are in very good shape I might save them to see if I can reuse them in the freezer but yes we have these and we have peanuts here then we'll be able to see them all here but yes and I believe that's Okay, the receipt is here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And twenty dollars ninety-six cents is what he spent on those two. The peanut is a dollar uh eighty-four and I like to get insulted one. So I made uh porridge using cornmeal, it's just cornmeal, water, sugar, 
and that's why I'm going to serve for breakfast and I like to add peanut to it. Some of the kids will even ask for chopped apple, we don't have apple and they'll ask for peanuts so roasted peanuts will go on it as well and that's you know the porridge using the cornmeal is whole grain and then you have protein sauce here to add it to it so that's good for breakfast and this one costs six dollars 28 cents so that's that so everything total to 20.96 here and that's what we spent again from our food budget in april in addition to what we purchased prior to this so we are out of peanuts and i thought it would be good to get some to have on hand because the kids are just eating like some of them are going through gross food and they are eating quite a bit and asking for a snack and I think it might be just good to have that on hand. And other than that, I'm just trying to purchase things as I needed. We usually stock up for at the beginning of the month. And some items, I just buy them at the end of the year for the whole year. Like toilet paper, I have purchased it in 2018. And I purchased it again right at the start of when we are asked to stay home, like in beginning of March is when we purchase no in fact we purchase one bag in December to try to see if that's the best deal or not because the one we got in 2018 we didn't find it so and that's that so I purchased things for the whole year and I purchased some for three months and some I purchase them on a regular basis every month like flour I will purchase it every month but salt I purchased salt Back in 2018, and I have not purchased salt yet. Sugar, I like to purchase it for the whole year as well if I can afford it. It all depends on how much of the food budget I save during the year because I buy things on sale. Some stuff goes on sale. Now the staples, they don't go on sale. That's why I like to stock up on them at the end of the year for the whole year or for six months or for three months depending on how much I, I was able to save but in summertime vegetables that I don't grow they go on sale and I, they'll go on sale and I will stock up fruit goes on sale and we buy fruit uh, during the week looking in the air and I save in those categories so that help um, at the end of the year I'll have quite a bit saved and I'll stock up on those staples that usually don't go on sale for us and that's how I purchase things for the whole year and some for three months depending on the expiration dates and some of them I just purchase them every month like flowers for example but yes and things like this will have expiration dates on it and if that's something that will be there for um, a while it's kind of hard for me to read it here, but it's 2021. April, uh, August 17, 2021. So something like that, if I can afford it, I can suck up on it, depending on the space that I have. I can suck up on it for, don't know, three, six months? A month, if I can afford it. But that's that. So thank you for watching. I'm Afiavi Ojune, Libreman, creators of Libreman Consulting, LLC YouTube channel, and owners of Nina Soap. And our website is ninasoap.com. Stay safe. Stay out of grocery store as much as possible. Don't go shop because you just want to get out of the house. Have a grocery list on hand and just go get your things and get out so that we keep workers safe as well by keeping our distance from them. And we are grateful that they can work for us to go shop and buy food. We are grateful that people at the hospital continue to work and try to keep us safe. So we need to do our part to keep each other safe and ourselves safe. Thank you.